In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the medians of a triangle. A median is a segment whose endpoints are a vertex and the midpoint of the opposite side. So you can use a compass and pro, or compass protractor ruler and got your choice of tools to use. But in this case, I'm going to use a ruler and a note card. So I need to find a midpoint of a side and then I'm going to connect it to the vertex um, that it's opposite. So in order to find the midpoint, I'm going to use a ruler and measure the side. And this side looks to be just a bit beyond uh, 14 centimeters. So half of that is going to be just a hair over 7 centimeters. So I'm going to make a mark there. There's my midpoint. And then I'm going to take that midpoint and connect it to the opposite vertex. Okay, so I've connected the midpoint to the opposite vertex. Since this is a midpoint, it divides this side of the triangle into two congruent parts. So this side will be congruent to this part right here. Whatever this measure is, this will be the same. So there's one median. I'm going to go through and I'm going to find the other two medians connecting this vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side and this vertex with the midpoint of it, its opposite side. I'll go through one at a time and measure the length of each side. This looks like it's just a little less than 10. It's almost about 9.5. So let's see, half of 9 would be 4.5. So we're going to be right at about 4 and 3 quarters. There's my midpoint there, and I will connect that with the opposite vertex. And that, because it's a midpoint, is going to divide that side of the triangle into two congruent parts. Got one more side here. I measure that. That looks to be about 12 and a half inches long. So 12 and a half, half of that's going to be about six and a quarter. So six and a quarter right there. There's my midpoint. I'm going to connect that to the opposite vertex. Now again, since that's a midpoint, that's going to divide this side of my triangle into two congruent parts. I'm going to mark those as congruent. Now we'll notice that those medians all meet up at one point together. The point where the medians meet up is called the centroid. And one thing to notice about the centroid is that the centroid is two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the opposite side's midpoint. Now, what that means is the centroid is going to be two-thirds of the distance from the vertex, um, each one of these. So whatever your distance happens to be for the length of this median, this part right here will be two-thirds of that distance and this will be one-third of that distance. So if your whole median is let's say three centimeters or three inches, okay, let's say your whole median were three inches long, this is going to be two-thirds of that or two inches and this is going to be one-third of that or one inch. Whatever your median is, that centroid will be located two-thirds of the way from each of the verte vertices. The centroid will also always be inside of a triangle.